very threatening with a kind of messianic attitude there. And I was wondering why you included that twice at the beginning and at the end, because it does seem to support the sort of general thesis that Mugabe has always been who he was, and perhaps it's just events and circumstances and uh, the struggle for power which has made him externally what he is today. Well, I think it's all in the context, because when uh, he made that initial television appearance, there was three competing armies about to erupt back into civil war. There was um, Nkomo Zipra, um, and they were disappointed because he hadn't got the presidency. Um, there were the Rhodesians, and I know from, um, from my old school friends who had their instructions about which, uh, which Zanu guerrillas to go and eliminate. Um, you know, they had particular depots in town, you go and kill those ones. So there was a very active coup plan in place, and he appeared on television and gave that speech. And it just, uh, it just took this thing out of everything. And, uh, and basically, a civil war was averted. And at that time, it was like, after 15 years of guerrilla war, so people were just desperate for peace. Um, so, and then I replay, also the other thing about that speech is that it, it um, anticipates uh, Mandela's rainbow nation by uh, about 14 years, you know. So Mandela's a kind of Johnny Hum lately in the, in the, in the rainbow nation stakes. Um, and for the first 15 years of Zimbabwean independence, you know, the development was extraordinary. You know, it was a fantastic increase in, in literacy, health, peasant production. Um, so I bring it back at the end, just as a kind of reminder. I mean, it helps to punctuate um, Simba Makoni's statement. You know, is he a different man? I mean, at the end of it, I don't really want to kind of say absolutely, this is the man. I mean, he's still alive. History's still going on. Um, I think. I, I would rather people have something to debate. But I would show the deeds he's done. Marama China, Kukura Hundi. You know, those are clear. But I, I mean, I'm not going to end up by saying he's a paranoid psychopath or he's a this or he's a that, you know. I just leave the different points of view for people to play with. Uh, I'll this one then second. 